Martha's daughter. Surprise! Um, and we are so glad that you're here with us. We're just going to go ahead and get started and kick things off with a special prayer by Reverend Sherman L. Helton Sr. He's the senior pastor of New Hope Missionary Baptist Church here in South Haven. He has been the pastor of Southern Elegant CEO Martha Warren for over 30 years. Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. If you haven't visited New Hope yet, Miss Warren is sure to invite you because, as they say, New Hope is the place. New Hope is the place to be. Look at God. All right. Pastor Helton, it's on you. Boy, I love it what you do. All right. Thank you all so much. And uh, we are just grateful to God for the privilege uh, of being here on this day. And as we say, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. That's where I pick it up. By your hands, Father God, we love you so much, and we are thankful that you allowed us just to wake up and see another day that was not promised to us, but here we are. We're thankful for our efforts of being here. We thank you for Martha Warren and the dream that you have given her. And we pray right now that as this ground is hallowed, that the purpose for which her dream would be that it will come to fruition. And then everybody that would enter this place, this spot of ground, would know that it is yours, but the scriptures are correct when they say the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Bless it right now, consecrate it right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray that even the workers that who will work on it would realize that this spot of ground is special, is holy. Bless us in a very special way, keep her in your protective custody and prevent your will. And that even when times get low, that you will allow her to look to you. For all of our help come from you and from you alone. We ask it in the matchless name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Hilton. All right. Now we're going to have a special welcome by Miss Christy Moore. She will be the facility director for Southern Elegance. In 1999, she and Miss Warren worked side by side at T-Rex Corporation, where she served as human resources assistant. Miss Moore later became director of human uh, human resources for resort casinos. And with the experience of this dynamic duo, Southern Elegance is bound to have the best customer service around. The best experience for all of the clients. So Miss Moore, could you please join me in welcoming our lovely guests? Good morning. I want to welcome everybody on this wonderful warm morning. 
I'm Christy, of course, and it's my honor and privilege to welcome all of you guys this morning, our distinguished guests, our family, our friends, to the groundbreaking ceremony of our new business, Southern Elegance. And we have a special welcome to Senator David Parker and our District 24 House Representative Jeff Hale and our Executive Director of uh, the Soto Tourism, Tim Carell, and our South Haven Commerce Director, Carm and Kyle, who also will be speaking with you later for uh, brief remarks. Um, Southern Elegance is going to be a premier event venue that specializes in creating themed events with customized menus for weddings, fundraisers, corporate meetings, uh, reunions, that type of thing on a, on a, we're going to have a 10,000 square foot building and it's going to be just amazing and wonderful and beautiful and it's all part of Martha's dream and I'm going to let her share more about with you and I'm just excited that she's asked me to be along with this on her because it's such an honor and privilege and it's going to be amazing and something that Soto County needs. Um, from, from our children to our elders. And I'm just very excited. I'm very excited that her dreams come coming true. Um, so I'm going to let her talk to you more about that. And we're very excited once again that you're here with us this morning. Um, and, my, and my task this morning was simple. So I welcome you all here. Um, before I go, we have a special birthday wish for Pastor Benjamin Smith. His birthday is today with uh, Tem uh, Miracle Temple Church. And we appreciate them for this part parking lot this morning as well. So happy birthday to you. Thank you, ma'am. And also a birthday with Pastor Bartholomew Orr, his birthday was on yesterday. Yeah. So happy Ooh. birthday. Ooh. <laughs> South Haven, she works to promote commerce within the city and build a stronger economy through local business sector. Please welcome Miss Kyle. Good morning, good morning. I'm going to make this really quick because it is hot and because you're not here to listen to me speak. Um, but this is such an exciting day for Miss Martha and her team. And um, I, for me, um, it's just, it's just, I, I love for what she, uh, the passion that she brings. So today we're gathered here for this groundbreaking event that marks the starting of construction for Miss Martha's dream of Southern Elegance. I am honored to have the opportunity to welcome each of you where the happiest of occasions will take place on this dirt. It won't be dirt for much longer, but there will be galas, fashion events, birthday parties, weddings, receptions, and so much more. As the representative of the business community, those of us at the South Haven Chamber of Commerce have a passion for those wishing to fulfill their dreams. Working with small business is not just a job for us, it's a calling. Just like it, this dream is a calling for Miss Martha. There's a deep sense of personal pride and fulfillment derived from seeing dreams come true. And Miss Martha is one of those who has the dream and the passion. The minute, I want you to hear this. The minute she walked through our doors, we felt a sense of pride and enthusiasm as she shared her vision of Southern Elegance several months ago. And hearing that, hearing her, even the, the way that she spoke and, and just standing in our doorway of hearing her dream and what she wanted to do in our community and the, the amount of time, the, the years that she has dreamt of this is just amazing. So here we are. The construction of this new event center in the heart of South Haven, Mississippi demonstrates Miss Martha Warren's commitment to her dream. We are excited that you have chosen our great city, the top of Mississippi, for your location of Southern Elegance. And beha on behalf of our community and our board of directors, we wish you all the best in years to come, and congratulations on this most joyous occasion. All right, we're just going to move them right on through here. All right, now we have Honorable Jeff Hale. He is the State House Representative representing the 24th District, which includes the city of South Haven. Born in Corinth, raised in Horn Lake, Mississippi by his mother, a hairstylist, and father, a General Motors truck driver. This is, this is a common theme for our family, by the way. <laughs> All right, so he started off work as a volunteer, then a full-time driver for the Horn Lake Fire Department, and retired as a fire chief in New Albany Fire Department. Honorable Hale, ladies and gentlemen. I'll need to come and do this more often. Okay, I'll uh, be like Carmen. I'm going to keep mine quick because it is hot. Uh, South Haven is the third largest city in the state of Mississippi. And saying that, that South Haven, Minnesota County, 
or the Union Bank back at South Haven has set a record this year already for building permits. So that's something to be said for the city. Um, Ms. Warren, thank you very much for your dream come true here in South Haven and DeSoto County. We welcome you uh, in the state if we can do anything for you as well as the city. All you got to do is let us know and we will help you all we can. Thank you very much. I'm going to turn it back over to this young lady. Okay. Thanks, sir. All right. So now we have Miss Kim Terrell. She's the DeSoto County Tourism Executive Director. And to increase tour tourism here, she helped rebranding the county with the slogan, South of the Ordinary. With this slogan, DeSoto County is that quintessential, more hospitality driven, not urban, but authentic South. People need to know and remember DeSoto County is in the South and not the ordinary destination. And Southern Elegance will be a perfect addition to the area, intertwining with the theme, South of the Ordinary. Please welcome Ms. Kim Terrell. Good morning, everybody. I'm about to get caught up in something here. Give me just a second. All right, welcome. Southern Elegance, welcome Miss Martha. We look forward to working with Martha and Christy and the upcoming staff. You know, we take great pride in the event locations we have in DeSoto County, and we know that we can look forward to the new and exciting things that Martha's going to bring to us. How about this? Great location. Easy to get to. You agree? Absolutely. And what an addition to our tourism family. With the look and the style that this is going to have in this area, this will rival, there will be nothing to rival it. This will be something brand new for the North Mississippi area and there will be no rival to it. Here in Mississippi, especially in our tourism world as I call it, we take great pride in knowing each other's assets and that we sell them no matter where those assets are. Because if we can get people to stay one extra day that's here for an event with Martha and Christy, then they'll see a little bit more of DeSoto County, they'll see a little bit of the hills, they may see a little bit of the Delta. We are in two national heritage areas, y'all, along with other marketing regions of the state. We do FAMS with each other, we showcase each other's areas, and I cannot wait to showcase what Southern Elegance is going to offer and what the opportunity we have here. Just on a quick note, Miss Martha, we've got 42 hotels with about 3,200 rooms, so your guests are going to have a whole lot to choose from. Not a problem. We've got you covered on that. In 2017, the visitors to this county spent $345 million in DeSoto County. So we look forward to Southern Elegance being a part of that and enjoying a part of that as well. So we welcome you. We are so glad you are here. And if there is anything we can do, Martha, Christy, you know where we are, let us know. And for anybody else, we are the Visitor Center right down here at Church in 55. If there's anything we can help you with, let us know. Thanks. Thank you, Ms. Terrell. All right. I hope you guys are staying cool. Y'all all all right with the water, right? You got the fans? All right. Next we have Honorable David Parker. He is an optometrist and serves as a Republican member to the Mississippi State Senate representing District 2. He was born in Memphis, went to South Haven High School, then to Christian Brothers and received a degree um, from Southern College of Optometry. And obviously he you know, works with your eyes, so in case you guys need your eyes checked, he can help you out. All right then. And, oh, this is like one of my favorite parts of his introduction. Maybe it's just, oh, snaps running out. Oh, that means we gotta hurry up. Okay, sorry. Um, oh, in the aftermath of Charleston, I read this on his Wikipedia page. Um, after the aftermath of Charleston shooting in June 2015, Parker called for the Confederate battle flag to be removed from the flag of the Mississippi and suggested it was decisive all of which I personally support, so thank you for that. And I'm hopeful in your endeavors to continue pressing the issue, so please welcome Honorable Parker to the stage. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, I'm probably gonna be the one who the microphone runs out on, uh, but uh, I, I didn't have any prepared remarks, but I wanna say this, when a new business comes into a community, you can learn a whole lot about their actions before they start. And um, to 
the people who've called me, including Christy, uh, multiple calls, a lot of interest, a lot of spirit in every call and every message. They would call, leave a message, and then call back and leave another, and that is a, uh, an indication that they are going to be pushing hard to make this succeed. But when I think about South Haven, I think about DeSoto County in general, I see a head on the agenda here. I don't see him here yet, but I see Pastor Orr. Just to give a little history on me, when I first moved to DeSoto County in about, I guess, third grade or so, the first person to welcome me to the South Haven Greenbrook School System was Pastor Orr. Uh, Pastor Orr and I don't share the same skin color, but we share the same commitment to our community, and we, say we share the same love of our community. And one thing about our community here is that we have always worked together to advance this area. And you see that with multiple churches here today. I happen to attend the church right next to the church next to this one. So I'm a member of Life Fellowship. Uh, but I'm very proud that in South Haven and DeSoto County, we have so many people of faith who are uh, not apologetic of their faith, but who are proud of it and are proud to gather with people from other churches, from other religions, because that's truly, I think, what makes DeSoto County and our area so great. So I'm excited about this new facility coming here. I'm excited about the potential for the multiple different things that can be held here. And on behalf of myself and behalf of Governor Phil Bryant, I welcome you here and I look forward to many, many years of exciting venues and uh, exciting events here. But thank you so much for having me today. Thank you, sir. We, we are moving right along. All right. So, I know you guys have been, been waiting for it. Now we're going to have the visionary behind Southern Elements. She's a public servant, what many would call a Jane of all trades. She attended Hamilton High School in Memphis, graduated from the University of Memphis with a Bachelor's in Human Resources Management served on the Memphis Police Force for four years, earned her MS in HR from Eastern Michigan University, went on to become an HR manager at T-Rex, then Complex Tooling and Molding, then Goodwill, etc. She was an impactful high school teacher teaching students how to be business-like. Business know how to dress, how to talk, how to walk. She was, she was doing the thing. And that was at Whitehaven High School. She loved serving, but not only through the community efforts she has with the Taffy T. Crawford Domestic Violence Foundation, but the public at large with her role as a flight hostess for none other than Southwest Airlines, where she embodies their mission, love. I know y'all like love too, right? <laughs> she has always been everyone's go-to cook, caterer, decorator, entertainer, party planner. I'm not gonna go through all the rest, and has decided to make her passion into a career with the opening of Southern Elegance with all that you've got y'all heard that with all that you have got please give a magnificent round of applause to my loving mother martha warren now she trying to miss me I don't have my Raiders on. I did live over this Reverend Hilton before I hang on. But good morning and good morning and good morning. And I thank you, I thank you, and I thank you for sharing with me this morning. As you have been well informed, I am Martha Warren, the visionary behind Southern Elegance Events, LLC. It is indeed a blessing to stand before you this mo on this momentous occasion as a proud owner and CEO of the future premier venue for unforgettable events, Southern Elegance. I have been looking forward for this grand, groundbreaking ceremony for over 10 years. Believe it or not, Reverend Helton, it all started down at New Hope when you asked me and my husband to host the second annual Valentine's Day Gala, where we had the red carpet laid out with plate-sized steaks that people are still today talking about. <laughs> Coordinating the gala, I realized that that was my passion for hosting extravagant events and providing the best food and decor, working miracles with clients with budget constraints. 
since then, I have planned weddings, birthday parties, funeral repasts, baby showers, family reunions, and the list just goes on. These projects provided not only an opportunity to showcase my skills, but challenged me to work within budgetary constraints and have guests never forget how awesome it was. These experiences also helped to guide me toward entrepreneurship, turning my passion into a business. My journey to this point has been a great triumph. From purchasing two parcels of land for the optimum venue location, to selecting a contractor to take on this project, the biggest challenging of all was securing financing. After being rejected by over 10 financial institu institutions, I had exhausted every known avenue that I could think of. I saved money, I had a great credit score, and I was debt free, and had a solid business plan, but yet still unable to secure financial backing. What else could I do? I had become frustrated, discouraged, at the point of giving up, so I told the Lord, it is in your hands now. I have exhausted everything that I have to give, and I leave it all up to you. And if it's for me, I know that you will make a way. It was at that, po it was at that point at, that I received a call from Donna Edwards with Pinnacle Financial Partners and approved me for an SBA loan. She believed in my vision. And I appreciate her more than she could possibly imagine. Despite setbacks, my network, my faith, have propelled me to stand here before you today. Every aspect of Southern Elegance brand centers on providing exceptional, excellent service, including to nonprofits who are providing essential services to our community. At this time, I want to give a special thanks to Benjamin Hamilton, who's my contractor with TDL Contractors. My financial supporter, Ms. Donna Edwards with Pinnacle Financial Partners, and to my late mother, Lou Eddie Jackson Knox, for instilling in me perseverance and teaching me how to work and how to cook. She shared with me her sacred recipes, including one of my infamous chocolate cakes that I put my own twist on by adding secret ingredients, <laughs> for which I would not sh dare share with you on today. You just have to come back for the grand opening and I will have it there for you to taste. What for, for the one who receives glory, for the one who receives glory for all the things he's done, that is my Lord, my Savior, Jesus Christ. For without him, I am nothing. He has provided a way for my vision to come into fruition. He has never come short on his word, as long as you have faith and keep the faith. I will be remiss if I did not mention my family, especially my one and only of 30 years, my darling husband, Nathaniel. That's you, Nathaniel. Who has supported me since the very beginning. He caught hold on to my vision one night after we was watching one of Hallmark's favorite, Petra's parties. The following morning, he told me that he had a dream about me producing events that I would be the, oh, let me get it right. The following morning, he told me that he had a dream about me producing events that I would be the best to do it. He told me to step out on faith and just make it happen. My husband supports me. He keeps me grounded. He gives me constructive criticism as well as reality checks when I need them most. Anytime that I'm having an event, he's always by my side and he works just as hard as I do. Nathaniel, I love you. And I just could not do this without you. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your encouragement, your prayers, your unconditional love, even when I'm stressed out, yelling and throwing a fit. I love you.
Words cannot express how humble and grateful I am for your presence here today as, I, as you support me in my dream to um, entrepreneurship. So, with the greatest sincerity, I thank you for making this groundbreaking ceremony a great success, and I look forward to hosting you here at Southern Elegance, start March 2019. Yes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let's break this ground up. I know being done stirred it up a little bit, but we're going to break it just a little bit more. And, and for um, the person that's on my uh, program, I would like you to join in with me, including you, Reverend Helton, Pastor Orr, and everybody that was on program. Would you please join me at the front and, and get a ship? Bartholomew or he's the past senior pastor of Brown Missionary Baptist Church and he served as such since 1989 and that is um, 29 years how I knew the math so fast <laughs> all right under his leadership the church has experienced tremendous growth spiritually and numerically and just like you know everybody did the happy birthday he gives all of his members a special call on their birthday to say happy birthday and I love you so. He received his doctorate degree from, in ministry from Union University and he has always used his passion for education to train and empower other ministers after his father in the ministry, Reverend Hilton, whom we heard from earlier today. He's not only a local pastor, but also a cousin of our family, Mrs. Warren, Mr. Warren. Please lead us in prayer as we enjoy the refreshments and begin construction of the future home of Southern Elegance. Amen. God bless you. She could have just said I was Martha's first cousin. That's all. <laughs> Let's pray. Father God, we do thank you for this morning. Thank you for all that have our eyes have witnessed, our ears have heard. We thank you for the plans. Your word says in Proverbs 16, 3, that when we commit our plans to you, you will bring them to success. We pray your favor and success upon Martha and in this entire project, even now. And so bless the food. Thank you for the hands that have prepared it, those who would serve it. May it be nourishment for our bodies, strength for the journey. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, look at my vision has come to fruition. I want to thank the Lord. I want to thank the Lord for allowing me to see this opportunity. My vision is coming into fruition. As you can see, the dirt has been, ground has been broken. I am, I cannot wait until March to have my first event here at Southern Elegance located at 654 Church Road, South Haven, Mississippi. Look forward to seeing you there. <laughs> 